Why do tube amplifiers have square power transformers while solid state amps have round toroidal transformers? Well, this great question comes from Kenneth from East Kilbride in Scotland. Hey Paul, greetings from Scotland. I love to watch your daily videos, thank you. And I was wondering why all the valve tube amplifiers seem to use a square transformer and all the best transistor amps use a toroidal transformer. Is there a sound reason? No pun intended. <laughs> or is it just down to accepted practice? Thanks in anticipation of answering my question. Well, um, the, it has a lot to do with tradition, yes, for sure. But more than tradition, most tube power amplifiers also use an output transformer. And by that, I mean that the vacuum tube output stage is what's creating the wattage, and that needs to be connected to the loudspeaker through a matching transformer. It's an audio transformer that's conducting all that power because tubes don't handle low impedances very well. Tubes like to um, deal with higher impedance. They're more voltage devices. So what we do is we put a matching transformer at the output of the tube stage to try and connect up properly the 8 ohms or 4 ohms of a loudspeaker to the higher impedance of a vacuum tube. Now when you do that, the quality of that matching transformer is really important because amps are made or, or, or broken based on the quality of that transformer. One of the reasons that McIntosh is uh, such a good reputation is for years, you know, um, they, Gordon Gow and all the guys that ran McIntosh were, I mean, fanatics about the way they wound their transformers and so, you know, uh, VTL, Luke and the, the people that run that, they're, they're, they're really fanatic about their transformers. And the best sounding power transformers for a number of engineering reasons uh, uh, for audio, audio power transformers are um, square. They're the EI kind where we have different uh, laminations and then the, the bobbin is wound and put together and it turns out to be square. So power transformers are definitely better as toroids, but it would look kind of goofy to have a square output transformer and a round power transformer. So to keep things even, they use two square ones. Since in audio, we don't really use output transformers because in a solid state, in an Audi, in solid state, um, we, ha we can directly connect the outputs, which is a much better way to go. So like in our stages, we have MOSFET outputs and they are direct connected to the loudspeaker. And uh, when that happens, then of course you don't need that transformer, then all you have is the toroidal transformer that is supplying the power. So uh, convention plus the fact that you have the better sounding audio transformer transferring the power to the speakers. Okay, thanks and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.